I just wanted to show you the one, four, one, five, seven, one chord progressions quickly. So we're going to be looking at the C4A handout sheet that we covered in class for this week. So the first thing you'll see on the sheet is the chords in root position. So we have C major, right? We have a major third, and then a minor third. Scale degrees one, three, five. This is the one chord because it's built off the tonic note. And we find the four chord by going up to the fourth scale degree, F. So we're going to play an F major chord. You can use your ears to find if it's major or minor, find if it's correct. And we have a major third and a minor third. And then for 5-7, built off the 5th scale degree, G. And remember we have a major 3rd, minor 3rd, and another minor 3rd. So those are the three chords we're going to be using. And then we're going to be playing the chord progression that's on the second line so that we have smoother voice leading. So we start in root position, tonic chord. In the top two notes, to get to the four chord, I'm just going to move up by scale degree. So I say scale degree instead of half step and then full step, right? It's really just scale degree. There's no accidentals here in the key signature. And back to C major. And then you already played a G7 chord last week. Please notice the fingering too. I'm starting with one, two, four. So that our third and fifth fingers are already ready for the next chord. You don't have to move them. If you're still struggling with this, it really helps to play in a correct rhythm. And I like to do two beats down. Two, two beats off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Right? And the two beats off gives you an additional time for your brain to just think ahead quickly. Right, so you have two whole beats to look ahead and get ready on the next chord. Okay, so that's why I like to do that. All right.